All right, here we are again, two nights in a row. Crazy House stream is up tonight. My opponent is none other than the creative talent Opal Wesson. We're going to play some three plus two. Okay, e4, d5. Right, let's see where this goes. I've nearly been playing d4 exclusively the last month or two. Um, Black has gambited a pawn here. And, uh, this is gambiting the pawn back for good development. When I first saw this uh, played by Master Tan a little while back, so I've got to give credit for that. But, um, I quite like it. Uh, Often with this gambit, black gets a lot of activity. Okay, Opal Wesson's going to play pawn at e4. Now, there's a, there's a sharp line uh, where knight takes d4, pawn at d3 is played. Um, so that's why I'm going down this. So I get two pawns for the piece. Um, Black's king is a little bit off-center. But I think I think both sides have have good chances here. Mixu chess, okay, ZH, welcome. Thanks for joining. Okay, knight at knight at d4, but pawn uh, at c7, queen at e5, queen at d6. So Opal Wesson's playing playing for every uh, every tempo, every every little thing he can, basically. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna settle for Queen at D one. I'm expecting like a queen at d6 or queen at d7, something like that. Defend the knight by uh, by while blocking the um, the pin as well. Yeah, queen at d7. So if I, if I lose this, is that so bad? Maybe bishop e3 takes here. Bishop at g4. Or should I play bishop f4, a bit more aggressive, looking at pawn to c7? Uh, play bishop f4. <coughs> Castling also an option, but I just want to develop a piece and claim some tempo. I want to manage my, my clock as well. We've got the increment, but I'm do that. Cross online, yes, another late night. Well, work's just been full on recently. So I, I need a break. I need some time for myself. Got to allow that. Um, here, here, I'll castle. I just feel like Black's development is a bit unusual here. I've got four pawns in the hand to do things with, but I just want to consolidate king safety. Like when I play knight c3, I don't want to run in a bishop e4 and rook e8. Okay, so he's taken f3. I'm going to preserve my structure here. Importantly, this pawn covering g2 and h3 nicely. He's got bishop at g4, but I can move the queen. Not yet sure where I'd want to move the queen. Bishop at e4 as well. Okay, it's going for bishop at d5. So he's got to be careful if he, like, queen e3 takes, takes. Can he play, like, queen h3 check? Because 
be a little bit dangerous. Queen g3, knight h5, queen h4. So let's let's just step to g3. And there might be something on. We should take c7. Okay, flourish. How you going? Good to see the regulars. Okay, I just feel like yeah, how's black gonna develop here? Okay, ninety four. So if I take this I only have pawns. It's probably not enough. He's got everything different. I've got knight at E eight. Yeah, that's enough. Um I'll just go there. Looks promising enough. To be careful, knight at e8, king d7, queen at c7, takes, win the bishop, block, but then that knight's gonna be nasty. So bishop at g4 maybe. Alright, let, let's play. The queen covers h3, it's really just knight at e2 that's the issue. But I think bishop at g4 is, is right. It's also aggressive with pawn at d7. Pawn at c7 could also be a threat, but this is largely just to defend against knight at e2 check, which is a mate threat. Bishop c5. Pawn at d7, king a7. What about pawn at c7? And is he threatening me somehow? Uh, okay, I'll play knight c3 first. Uh, I want the back rank covered. Okay, knight f2. Left this on because I can grab c5. So he can't really take d5, but if he doesn't, then I think he's facing a mate threat. So that was just a fine point there that I get coverage and everything's safe. Okay. Flourish says, haven't seen Bella in a while. I'm really worried John's play is going to decline without the Pikachu and finding Nemo Gambits. Nice. Okay, e4, e5. Let's play queen e7. Hit the queen. So I've I've often just played queen d1 here. Okay, but but nothing, nothing orthodox from Opperwesen. Well. Isn't d5 just good here? What am I missing? Uh, I'm just going to avoid this stuff. So I basically defend this, but then now I'm attacking these. So this, this should be good for black. You might have overlooked this, just trying to be a bit creative. Looking for knight h5, knight c7. Okay, I've got to take with a pawn, so I can still defend this. And then I probably want to consolidate, knock this knight back. But let's see what he decides to do. Okay, he's gone back without me chasing him. So, pawn of d5 would, would defend everything. Bishop f5. I think I like bishop f5 better. It's it's like d3 is just so natural for white, so I want to oppose that. Okay, 
So he's got a gap on C2. Um, Knight d4 is a natural square, but also there's there's something good about developing this knight. Um, like if I want to play queen b4 at some stage for trades, then there's no queen at c8 stuff. It might be useful just having this covered. Okay, knight f3 played. Yeah. His king's only going to go one place, so let's let's just try to pressure f3. I'm expecting knight g5, and knight d4, castles, pawn at f3. Even here, castles, like h6. Okay, he didn't like that. What's stopping me playing pawn at c2? Um, if h6, my rook hangs. But I get his rook. Bishop at f4. Knight f5, also isn't that trapping the queen. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah, okay, let's do that one. Okay, he's giving that up. I want to continue aggressively, uh, undermine the defense on this. So yeah, question about Fumitox. So yeah, F Fumitox is a uh, golem on fix. G O triple L U M. I believe he's Russian, but it was years ago that he was already playing this uh, this opening with um, Queen H5. Let me just have a think here. I've got to be careful I don't get mated. I'm getting mated if I take this way. That's a problem. Okay, I have to go this way. So at least if he plays knight at e3 to defend this bishop, then pawn at d7 won't mate me anymore because he won't have two knights in hand to place on c6 and b7. So if knight at e3, I could even play bishop c5 and make room for the king. So yeah, it's important getting this one with check. Maybe he didn't have to play king takes d2. Could have played king f1, might have been a bit stronger. And then I probably have to defend with like bishop at e6. I, I couldn't allow pawn at d7. Develop the bishop, make some room for the king. If I can castle, I'm happily safe. But he's not allowing that. So, king on f8 will have to do. And we may even have some mate threats here, like queen at f2. So, so black should be fine. This is a defensive move. He's trying to get some cover here. Come back out. Don't really like giving the queen there, but I'm 
short on time. I gotta cover black squares. Pawn at e7's deadly there. Queen at f2 is my threat. He might play pawn at e7 again. Pawn at h6, I'm gonna take it. Okay, what's he gonna do? Pretty nasty. Alright, we'll go here first. Because knight d5 is the problem. Um, yeah, he's got a nice mate with pawn at e7, but just kind of playing into it. I, I don't know if it's mate. He's got this like queen f7 sack, knight d5, queen e7, and then his bishops are very powerful. If here I have to run the king up, h5, king g5, I feel like he's got enough for mate. He's got he's got pawn at f4. But I saw this, but I ran out of time. Um, that was really nice from Upper Wisdom. I must have had a different option. Ah, okay, he has to go. But instead of... Surely there must be like queen at e7 or something else. This was a nice move, it, it defended things as well. And queen at e7 is probably stronger here. I feel like black should be better, but um, I was a bit loose. I, I knew pawn at e7 was, was going to be mating me instinctively. Very good, very good play. Alright, let's get a new opponent. Juan, uh, it's here. I wonder if uh, he's online at the moment. Active. Active 47 minutes ago. We'll, we'll, we'll issue a match. And Fumi Tox and Vempele are also online. Alright, let's see if. Um, Fumi Tox. Off of Vempele. If one else accepts. No, he's not accepting challenges. So. Who else is on? So we got a few. Let's let's see if Fumi talks or uh, why don't come alive. Yes, Flourish. Uh, and Pele's opening theory knowledge is insane. That's that's where he has a very big edge. Um, so, Giju9, welcome as well. Um, yeah, let's see. Fumi talks was only three minutes, so we might we might get something there. But we'll put out a few more a few more options. No, Debo so no. Okay. MRT is on. Alright, we'll take MRT. Okay. MRT, I've, I've played a lot on uh, fix against um, 2268, but uh, MRT knows knows what he's doing. Okay, well, let's take this one first. So this this is a very old classic opening. This one. All right, uh, I'll put a knight here. I want to pressure these squares. Of 
cross online so you can play the ZH20. Alright, what what tournaments are on at the moment? I'll just have a look over here. So I don't block the board. Four plus two. Four plus two is on. Uh, Queen C8. Okay, black drops a few pawns here. I'm not so keen on the rook as I am on getting rid of these central pawns because you know this e4 square is usually good for black. So two pawns cold, a threat on f7, knight g5. Okay, we'll, we'll play this. Okay, warm up, warm up match for MRT there. I'm happy to get this pawn there. Let's see if I can play against it. H4. This looks kind of interesting. I just want to get my knight off c6 so it's not being attacked. If I get that with a hit, and then I can bring this one around because it's not burdened by defending a knight on c6. I want to hit this somehow. And if he takes it, I might take this way. Okay, but he hasn't. So. Five is coming. Uh, what if I play something like Bishop at H six? How's he defending F four or ninety two? Um, I make something happen. This, this just feels right. It's capturing first, okay. F or H. Go, we'll go F actually. I think it's going to be useful opening up this file. Maybe I don't have too much risk from the diagonal at the moment. So we're just feeling the game out positionally here. Uh, maybe even knight at h5 is a good idea. What is this? Juan it's in. Alright, we'll, we'll play Juan it next. Actually, why don't we? Try something different. Oh, I can't just do that. Um, A3. I'll bring on Juan at next. Um, okay, A3 played. Gijun 9, thanks for the bits. What if I what if I take this and then let this get a play back there? So we get bishop f4. Yeah, all right. Let's let's go for that one. Okay. Can play bishop takes. Am I getting much back for that? Gonna have to deal with bishop at g5 at the end of all of that. Hmm. So 
All right. I'll trust my instinct on this one. Queen of Fate too slow. Um, right. Do a Queen of Fate. I'll try to secure uh, Juana as an opponent. Alright, bishop at e3. So, so white's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, you know, always sacrificing queens where I don't have to. So. Got to be true to uh, the expectations of the channel and just throwing in here. Rook at f8, you know, putting a new rook on so I've got plenty of defense at the back. Um, covers f7, hitting f2. So I, I've got a lot of pieces on the sideline here. Um, I've got a slight bit of aggression. A couple extra pawns to throw. So I need to put white's pieces in defensive positions. And then slowly work my way back towards initiative. So that's what this idea is all about, bishop at g3, look at f8. In fact, maybe he shouldn't block with the knight, he could have just sidestepped. Knight at f2. Um, Cross online, well said. At John Lee Crazy House, it is not a John Lee game until the Tal Queen sack. Oh, that's that's lovely being compared to Tal. Okay, what's going on here? Queen takes g6. I will take this with check first, but uh, maybe maybe I'm in some trouble. All right, we'll play we'll play some checks. That's critical because now he's got no pawn at h7. I made him expend a pawn here. Yeah. Oops. Gotta be really careful here. Pawn H seven, G five. Go this way. Sharp. Queen takes f7, maybe interesting. Pawn h7 here, knight takes, takes, knight g5, takes. Alright, let, let, let's move. We've got no time. Alright, I can take his queen. That should be good enough. Um, clear the back rank. Queen at e1, knight at g1 should make, unless he plays g4, and queen at f2. Okay, nice games from MRT there. Um, Alright, let's close that one up, and we'll get you on it on. Okay, Jew on it. 
one of the most aggressive Crazy House players on the circuit. He might have just stepped away for a moment. Some old chat talking about Pikachu and Finding Nemo Gambits. Basically means my daughter comes and either attacks me with a huge Pikachu plush toy um, or demands to watch Finding Nemo on the TV behind me and then I lose a whole amount of time, which is my Gambit. But somehow, um, yeah, some, sometimes I still end up pulling off some good games with those distractions, sometimes not, but, um, yeah, th th there was some, there was an interesting stream I recall where I had, I think I was playing, um, 30 second and zero increment, very fast time control, and, um, I, I was just, like, losing every game in a tournament, and then to top it off, Bella woke up, and then I had to, like, yep, uh, figure out how to um, look after her at the same time. And then I just started winning every game um, in 30 second time limit with, uh, you know, Bella uh, trying to disrupt me with my headphones and things. All right, Joanet, where are you? Okay, ATM2, I don't have kids, but I do have the cat jumping on the desk and blocking the monitor gambit. Yeah, so I, I used to, um, yeah, back back when I was single, I I helped out my good friend Bugzilla, who some of you may know. Um, he's also a very strong crazy house player, um, and they had a cat, and this cat, you know, was fairly unapproachable. Like you you could go near it, didn't want to know you. But while house sitting, like I just you know played on the computer and ignored the cat and after about two or three hours the cat would actually get kind of lonely and then do exactly that like it will come and meow around you if you don't pay attention then jump up on the table and just like stand in front of your monitor it's like I'm here I'm here I'm like it won't look at you straight but it's like I'm just getting in your way so I, I'm familiar with that cat behavior all right my viewers are getting bored. I, I'm struggling to, to get games going. Where is Juan? At? Do, I, do I have to find another opponent again? Can't have all this downtime here. Right, while I wait, um, gonna have a I might just have a, a look at the um, the previous match I thought that was an interesting line this was where it was Knight of g5 Queen takes f7 I think it may not have been anything thought it had more potential. Can I play king h8 and avoid all the complications altogether? Maybe I can. I, I was looking at something like pawn at h7. But it probably wasn't enough. You'd have to have some wild sack and I think, I think white's giving away too much material. Back here... I played um, King H8. I think if if you take here first, I was I was concerned about something happening here. Where White can play this. And then, whoop! I'm I'm about to cut this analysis. But I was worried about something like this. Bishop F5. Anyway, 
Let's play. Okay. Juanet is in the house. Let's play. Juju says Latan. Good to finally see you in Twitch. Latan, is that someone I know? I only, I only know one person that says that. Um, Slim MG says, "Can you show us the mate Lasso put on you yesterday? You, that you said was sick. Yeah, we, we maybe we can do that later. Um, we've got a game now. So. I'm expecting capture knight at f3, king e2." Juju, is that, is that you, Vamp? I, I just need to know. Um, I, have a, I have a good friend from Australia. Um, play knight d5. Got to manage my time here. Um, HM2 is asking, uh, Crazy House engines is good as ZH as regular chess engines at chess. Vamp, good to see you, man. Um, yeah, um, no, Stockfish can now play Crazy House very well. Um, much better than I can. I'll say that much. Okay, it's letting Knight at C7 in. Uh, okay. I could go for it, or we can just back off here. I think I'll just back off. Knight at c7, yeah, you get the rook, but black gets the knight, and then knight at f3 is happening. So here, the knight also covers knight g2 check, there's no knight at f3, and then he has to address this bishop. You know, this might still be useful, because the knight's hitting e6. So I, I like knight f4, it's a little bit more reserved, but there's some, some real purpose and intent to it. So queen e7, hitting e4... Takes, takes, queen e2, and what, knight f3, yeah. Takes, 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 takes. Yeah, I'm going to make him play, because it, when his queen vacates e7, c7 is also on for knight at c7. So I'm basically saying here, I'm, I'm going to take your material. The knight covers g1 as well. I don't have to recapture it. I can play knight at c7 and play aggressively as well. As long as I'm not getting mated. Um, so knight takes g1 or knight at c7. Any other candidate moves? Pawn at d7. Okay. Don't, don't want to leave myself too short on time here. Let's just calculate this properly. Like he, he'll want to do something aggressive, so he'll like go knight h3. So let's let's plan a trick. If we go here, here takes takes a knight, rook at e8, check king back, pawn at d7, king here, bishop at c8. If he takes queen at c c7, mates. If he goes to e8, pawn at d7, queen at e8. You can't go here because of queen at d7, so you can go e7. Uh, then what? Then I don't have mate. Uh, that's unfortunate. So I can grab his knight. Uh, we'll, we'll go this way. At the worst, I've got queen at c8 and I can grab this. But he, he doesn't have any dangerous checks with a rook here. A rook here is nothing. Got to make my threats. Unless there's another mate, like rook at e8, takes knight c7, king here. It's, it's close. Queen here, king c7. Alright, he's asking me to find mate. Ugh. 
Um, it's really close. I, I don't I don't see it. I'm just gonna play practically and grab this guy. Um, there's probably mate here and I haven't given myself enough time. See if I pay the price. I'm not being precise. Okay, always the aggressive move. Play back aggressively. The clock run very low. I got if he takes this queen d seven, looks like a winner. King takes c eight queen. All right, he hasn't gone that way. Oh, he's got king e7 though. Um, Bishop f8. This is sharp. Try not to get made it. Uh, I think he would take take pawn c2. No. Am I busted here? Holy moly, I missed that. Oh, that's disappointing. Knight f2. Nice play from Juan. But I had knight c5 check and c8 queen uh, doing it all with check. I just left myself too short on time. That's going to be my downfall, um, getting low on time. But I, I must have missed mates there as well. He, um, he fought very well. Like he's gonna sack then. Mm -hmm. So what do I want to achieve here? Uh, is bishop at e6 and pawn at g5 is the plan? Uh, to do here. I feel like I, I want to undermine this, but I've got to be careful how I go about it. So we'll... We'll play the bishop to g4, I hit this, pin this, 
If he ever tries some kind of discovery, at least my bishop's defended. So bishop e6 or bishop g6? No, he's gone this way. All right, I'll part with the knight. Queen could be good too. I'll use the pawn. So my light squares are weak. That's what he's going to attack. That's why I felt a queen on f6 might be a bit more helpful. But then you get knight at d5 hitting you as well. When I go to sidestep, light at f7 is, is good. Cover here. Knight at f7. Yeah, might have to run. Okay. I'm surprised he hasn't played knight at f7. Uh, I'll take an opportunity to play the rook. I am leaving this hanging though. That's a bit less than desirable. Right, my, my king's got good safe paths. Bishop at f7. Just knight h3 as well. Might leave the knight there. It just helps control this. And then rook at g3, knight at g5 is an option as well. I just I just can't let myself get too low on time. Okay, what's going on here? Do I need the king? This feels like a big call. Take it. So I'm threatening knight takes h3, which mates here. Yeah. Am I going to pay for it again? All right. I still want knight at f4, but I had to I had to cover up at the back just for a moment. Grab this. I've got to focus here. Bishop f5, rook g2, king h1, knight at f8 to cover the mate threats. Cover the seventh rank here a bit. Yeah. Seal off the file. Still, still plenty to play for here for both sides. All right. Uh, 
Let's go trying to grab some material. He, he's very safe. Defend. So Queen and H8. All right, he's gone this way. Doesn't do anything. This feels dangerous. I'm going to trust myself. Okay. Got C6 covered. All right, what are you doing? This, this looks a little too tricky. Uh, this way. All right, Jules, I know you're watching. You, you like this saying. It's um, collect them all to win, right? It's the old saying. Um, uh, it should have gone to C6. Uh-oh, I'm giving him some material. Uh, let's not get made it if we can help it. Oh, crap. This is a problem. It's too safe. Jeez, it's a long game. So if takes here, he, he falls there. Just got to keep up the stamina. Try to make this happen. Okay, fe feeling good now. Alright, this guy is gonna fall. And with that comes the game. Oh yeah! Okay, good fight. Okay. So we're settled in one apiece. It's really good to have uh, Mugwort and uh, well, Juju. My old friends. These these are guys along with uh, Bugzilla. Um, we all played Bug House in Melbourne um, so long ago. Uh, oh, I don't even know what year that was, but it's more than ten years ago. Definitely more than ten years ago. And, um, I got some very fond memories of, of those times. Okay, this is some kind of theory. This, this is the new age stuff. Alright, I have a feeling Juanet has a better idea of what he's doing here than I will. Right, so takes, 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 knight d4. That feels like the idea. Uh, let's, let's see what he's got. Maybe he takes h3, but it doesn't really make sense. That, that's the one I think he wants. So queen g2. 
If he's not careful, I'll have a mate threat up my sleeve. Okay. Knight h3 or bishop h3? What if I play pawn e7? Takes. Pawn e7 takes. Knight at f6 takes, takes. Here, pawn here, takes, takes, knight here. I've got two bishops, so that's mate. So, pawn e7 here, knight at f6 here. Can't get away with this, uh, dismantling his knight. Okay, this, this is really sharp. It's um, knife edge stuff. This point of the game, you, you either get it right or wrong, and and that's it. Um, so what if pawn at f5, if I just back off for a second? I think pawn at e7, bishop takes h3 is good for black. Or is it even pawn at g4? No, nah, pawn at f5. Let's, let's defend. It's required. Bishop takes, takes, pawn at f3, queen g4, knight e2, here, knight takes, and I get this pawn. Yeah, Mugwort said, remember bugs in his secret weight training. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bugzilla surprised us all at some event, like more than 10 years ago, when we all thought Mugwort was probably doing the most weightlifting. Um... And then Bugs just destroyed him in these arm wrestles. And we're like, how you do that? Are you are you doing weights? He's like, no. And then um, we get to his place and we find these dumbbells that look like they've just been used. I'm like, are you sure you haven't been doing weights? Like, maybe. Um, uh, okay, I've missed this right here. Crap. Um, that's a problem. Do I have Do I have some really sick mating idea here? Hang on, let me, let me just try to figure this out. I seeing things or do I actually have mate? Oh, it's it's close. I, I I'm actually seeing something where his king gets to h3 and I don't have mate. Um, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I'll share the line with you afterwards. Or I might get to play it. No, I think it works. It actually works, because this pawn is here. Somewhere in my head I saw a ghost that his king could run this way. Like, that—that that is a really sick mate that I just pulled off there.
that that is that is from I have to show you what that looks like just for a second. So yeah, knight f6 is critical because you can't let the king go back. Knight of g6 takes takes. So knight f6, if here, knight of g4. So here, here, bishop at g6. If his king went back, I had bishop at g7, king takes, knight at h5, king up here or king h8, bishop at g7 mates. If he took took, uh, the square was clear on f5. Ah, but then, yeah, the bishop covered f yeah. You're overthinking it. King h6. Yeah. Maybe he could have run back. Pawn g7 here. Knight here. King up. Bishop here. Takes. Bishop at g4. Back. I'm a pawn short. I have to take a quick look. Without, without the uh, engine. So if this this is like phenomenal stuff. So if bishop here, all I saw was he could take this way because if king here, knight at g4, bishop at h6, bishop at g7. So takes takes. Then I have one pawn extra. Let's go back here. Um, pawn. Now if the knight, I run out of material. So maybe there's another way. Maybe bishop. Take, no. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure this is mate. So someone else. Someone else is uh, analyzing with the bot though. So this this is called as mate in seven. So. Oh, what is it? Something like bishop at g8. Let's have a look. I thought it was f takes g6, but... Yeah, and then king h8. Ooh, okay, that's the point I missed. You have to sack a pawn. So when the king comes up, you have that extra pawn in hand for g3. Oh, that's... Or, or the knight goes to g6. Oh, that's... that's. I didn't see that. I can't claim I saw that. But g7 is, is the key move. Um, yeah. Knight at e7. Wow, it's calling, calling like mate in 14. Made in nine, queen takes chief. I, I'm just glad I, I, I saw it. Um, okay, that that was that was cool. That was cool. Enough enough about that game. Let's let's get back to Juan. Uh, he doesn't have much longer to go. So okay. Um, sorry, my title still says Opa. Thanks someone for pointing that out. Um, I can change that. Juana versus Chung. Um, okay, E4. Let's go again. E5. No, it's nice when when you see those ideas, um, like back from knight at e7 and queen takes g5. Um, <laughs> even Juan, it says it took a while for Stockfish to see knight f6. Yeah, it, it's a great feeling when when um, you can find those lines and and pull them off. Okay, so last time I played bishop at g4. But I didn't like the position I got with g takes f6, so I'll, I'll 
change it up and play queen takes f6. Just gives me a little bit more coverage on the light squares. If he plays knight at d5, at least then he's expended a knight. So last time he, he got to play knight h4 as well, so that's not an option now. So essentially black's a pawn up, but uh, the king is a little bit a little bit off, but white doesn't really have penetration. So I, I prefer black here just marginally, and then it's like a long grind to try to convert this advantage of being one pawn up. Okay, knight at e4. back here. So one concept I'll, I'll just introduce is um, when you're trying to defend sometimes it's nice just to put one type of piece in your opponent's hand. If it's just bishops for example then you know they only have options of where bishops can go. Uh, I'm gonna put my king on a dark square because I've got such good dark square coverage and likely to only have diagonal pieces to hit me with. I was actually more concerned if he took here and went bishop at d5 check, then he'd have a knight and a bishop in hand. And I feel like then, then white has more flexibility to make threats. Okay. <clears throat> I don't need to play aggressively here. Um, this either belongs here or here. I think I'll put it on d7. I like that the rook defends this. Sure, knight at g6 is open for a moment, but if I can get pawn at f7 in, then I'll be pretty safe. Um, so I'm not keen on um, opening up this f file for him. So Am I just making a target, though, for him to play bishop at d5 by putting a pawn here? All right, I'm thinking maybe I should be aggressive. Yeah, let's let's go. Bishop at d5. So he's looking for the knight. So knight at, knight at f4 could potentially be an idea. I gotta, I gotta respect g6. Knight at f4, pawn at e3, then what? I could take this, I guess. Let's. Oh, he's got knight at f5 too. Maybe this has to go here. I'm I'm playing far too slow. I gotta say, my mind is still ticking after the last game I played. Um, I really liked the mate at the end. I gotta get my mind off that and just play this game. Dario, crazy Texans, bro. Thanks for following. Time ticker one one two seven and Antox three thousand and four. Just trying to hold all the defenses together here nicely. And I've got a weakness that I'm slowly able to grind on potentially. But these these guys are my big defenders. Knight at f7 is, is 
possibly playable. Okay. In the mood for something decisive here. Yeah. See it yet. You can just take, rinse, and repeat. Doesn't really do anything. Oh, this way. Okay. I should probably. No, I need to be careful. To keep that file locked off. Okay. Weird putting a knight here because that's a usually a good friend for the king, but I want to disable this rook. Didn't get what I want out of this. Um, Alright, E3. Let's go. Do I have a mate here? Looks close. Looks close. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I think I'm wrong. Oh no, I could be right. Oh, he's got here. Which one? The knight? The knight. So I want the pawn for f2. That's very important. Hey, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Two two pretty good mates back to back. Some uh, some good quality good quality games here. Alright, we just went down this line. It worked out alright for me. I'll, I'll ask him to deviate. Um, so now I know a little bit more theory on this. There's, there's actually a nice line hidden there for, for white, um, but I didn't know it before we played it, so I'm surprised he's playing the same thing. Okay, knight at g5 this time. So it's changed his order. Um, so, we think again, um, into the think tank. So what if I put the queen on g3, or the queen on h5 even? I think, I think the queen belongs on h5. Let's not think too much about that. Because, I mean, the whole point of the bishop sack is to put the knight on d4 with tempo. So... I, I've got to consider pawn. I mean, black, black's already sacrificed a whole piece, so he should get something back for it. Okay, the bishop. So he's got no mate threat currently. G6 sometimes isn't really a problem because there's some kind of tricks which I can't yet see. But now, now, what? Pawn at E7 takes knight at F6 takes takes king here takes takes knight at H5. That's a mate. So pawn E7 here, knight at F6 go this way. What if takes? Pawn at g7 here, knight h5, king h7, anywhere back here would lose, so king g6. Well, i got to be careful, I don't have h7 covered because of his knight. Oh, 
Okay. Take these arrows away. We'll, have, we'll just have a quiet thing to ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna trust my gut. Uh, the plan I'm playing here is when the king goes to g6, I'll have a knight takes e7 check. That's my critical point because then f5 becomes available. So he, he looks like he's seen it already. That's pretty crazy that he's just giving up the queen. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take it. Now I've now I've got to defend probably. Unless knight at f six Queen here takes block pawn king back check. Oh man, why, why do I do this to myself? Uh Oh gosh, it's so close. I might have this wrong. Let's let's go for it. If here I've got queen h6, so I just feel like I'm a pawn short, or uh, I have a resource I've not seen yet. Sorry, I can't articulate what I'm seeing, but I just don't have the time to point it all out on the board. <laughs> uh, I have a problem. I think if he goes here, he can run his king up here. So I have to play bishop here. But if I get a knight, I'm fine. He takes with the bishop. Oh, I can't see all of it that far ahead. I've got to trust instinct here a bit. 24 seconds. Yeah, it's similar to the chicken mate, queen at h8. Um, that's what they call it, the chicken mate. But um, yeah, it's it's close. It's really close. If if he blocks with the queen, then pawn a g7 takes, and I can maybe take the queen. No, if he blocks with the queen, I've got to use the bishop. Then, at least when I take the queen, I can play queen at h6 check. Okay, but he's gone this way. I can't play queen g5 because of knight at f3, so I've got to go this way. Um, I have to play the checks, and then bishop at f5 is my key move. Or else, if I am use the queen, he's safe on h5. Um, he could be safe here. Alright. Damn, okay. Uh I don't I don't see it all yet. I'm afraid. running. Um, that's a shame. Alright, I've got to defend. It's not exactly what I want to be doing. I feel like I've missed an opportunity here. Queen at d4 was probably more dangerous. Uh, as if this isn't dangerous though. Pawn at g2 is going to sting. Busted to me. I'm going to throw in the towel. Let's have a quick look at that. That was really well defended by Juan at there. Um, I felt like I needed the bishop. I mean, I could take here, but... Um, 
Oh, I think I did miss, mate. So, bishop takes f7 and bishop at g6. Or, oh, yeah. Bishop takes f7 is the key move because you can play bishop at g6. And then the king can't run back. Hey, someone, someone tries to analyze this before I can even get to it. But uh, Yeah, I missed, mate. I missed, mate. I was looking at bishop takes f7, but I didn't see the point, and the point is bishop at g6. Uh, I bought this so we can switch colors. Mm. Sharp games. Fun games. What does this do? Alright, this looks like some kind of line that Oppa Wesson would like. Mm. From here, I'll just be bold. Try to call all the bluffs. When I say try to call all the bluffs, I mean if you get sacked on, you just take the pieces and um, you, you ask your opponent to, to play. If you, if you back down and, and play passively against this sort of opening, I think you play into white's hands. So I just have to fight fire with fire. If the king gets displaced, it gets displaced and... As we say in Australia, that's as safe as I get. And then you play from there. So yeah, White's, White's expended a fair bit of material here. Got to make it look worthwhile. Key point being that Queen can't take because of Knight at e2. And there's no Bishop here to fork the Knight. So Black's holding on to a little bit of material. So I think often here there's like a Knight d2 or a Knight c3. But um, Bishop takes f2 might be something Black has to worry about. Uh, I've got to defend this. If queen d5, I can play pawn e6, because that bishop is still defended by knight at e2 check. Main thing is playing the bishop to defend the knight. Okay. Uh, I'm tempted to play queen f6 here, just to keep the pressure on. I mean, it looks like white should be attacking, because white sacrificed, but... I just want to fight fire with fire here. Keep white on his toes. Byron Nani says, Pawn e3 instead, one at least a piece back. Pawn e3. P Pawn e3 where? What, what move? Oh, right. Okay, so Juan could have played back here. Pawn at e3, and then the queen can come to d5 after the bishop moves. So that's our uh, theoretician. Well, I don't know if, if Oppa Wesson already knew it, but our potential theoretician on the sideline. This, I think, is just very good for black. Black's got all the defense in the world. Um, yeah, here. I'm even tempted to play d5 so I can hit white with tempo. Queen at e6. Yeah, he's got queen c7 though. Um, it's just a nice position here. What do I want to do? Yeah, 
I think I don't think I should allow that. Um, we'll be sensible. If that's not checked, Knight at E2 mates. So I'm just holding on to all the material still. Okay. Pawn at F3. Just get decisive. Why not? Looks good. Knight at H3 is the threat. And if he wants to take my bishop, I'll get an open file. Doesn't matter if he takes here, knight at h3 is still mating. No checks on the king. So hard, hard to defend the white here. Alright. Just played into my hands. Yeah, that's true, Vira. Don't know the theory on this, but white needs to have something concrete. Okay, last one. Okay, we're going again with this sharp line. I want to leave myself plenty of time in the bank. Oh, I know it mates now because okay, it's switched. Knight takes h3. Okay, where does this go? Pawn at g6, I think, is playable. Uh, after the capture, I don't think there's a mate. You got knight f6, but then the king goes here. You don't have mate with knight at f7. If you go knight e7 and king here, so I think pawn at g6 is okay. But I can maybe bring the queen back here. Yeah, should be interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even going to think about it. Because if, if I can consolidate, then I'm, I'm up a piece for a pawn. Alright. Uh, yeah, rook g1 looks sensible. Covering g2, opening up the file. If you put a bishop on g2 or a pawn, then like potentially that pawn's going to hit you on h3 anyway at some stage. So maybe a bishop on e3 looks right here. He might just grab this. Trades, trades are kind of good for him at the moment. Uh, he wants a bishop for f3. So I can place this, but let's think here. Bishop, bishop here. Is it so bad if takes takes bishop here takes 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 the queen? Let's see what he chooses to do. Okay, take that one. Oh, I was going to offer a draw. That's a shame. He just had to go. There's still plenty of play for. I mean, this is the most kind of um, mild position, if you like, that we've had of our series. There's some really fiery matches. Um, I could have taken this. But, you 
I'm not I'm not keen on this F3 hole. I feel this is about even at the moment. Ah, that's that's a shame that that, that he just went. Okay. Opa, do you want to jump in? I gotta change my title back if that's the case. Okay, it's gonna be Opa versus John Lee. We'll update the title. Back to where we started at the beginning of the stream. Opa Wesson. Oh, lots of good games tonight. Okay, E4, E5. Bishop e7. Let's let's test this opening. So yeah, there's 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 a few theoretical lines um, that can happen around here. Now what is not an F7? Takes takes the queen. Takes. I feel like knight at F7 is good, but I feel like I'm being baited. Sopper Wesson's a tricky one. Just gotta be careful. Okay. It looks good. Okay, Queen E8. So we'll take this one. If Knight takes, I got Rook at F4. Pushes him back. Okay. This opens up the bishop to defend with pawn at f5 if I get rook at f4. Um, what about like bishop at f7? If I lose the knight, take the queen. So maybe the queen comes to b5 though. I don't really have a mate. I need a pawn to put on f7. Or I can just let the knight go. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do it that way. So cover e4, and I wouldn't mind having a pawn in hand. Because if this knight leaves its post, then pawn at f7, rook at g8's mating. So knight g4, you could, def you might have to defend this first before you get looking at the king. Knight g4, pawn f7, queen takes, takes, knight takes f2. Look at. Knight at, yeah, he's only got a knight and a queen or a rook, so rook at h8 could be effective there. Alright, he's taken up the square with his bishop though. So, pawn at f3, I feel like he wants to take this. And like queen at g2 or something. So I might even play pawn at e2. D4. 
is that something I really have to avoid? I should I should probably just play it here. It's okay. If Queen of G two I can play rook at G one, Queen F three, Bishop E two, Queen F two, and take the knight. I got I got plenty of pawns here. If black backs off then I'm gonna be safe forever. I've effectively got a rook and three pawns for a queen. Knight at h3, okay. We're planning some tricky stuff. Um, hmm. So that means against queen at g2, I don't have rook at g1. So can I put a rook here though? And that kind of thwarts any. Well, then he's got pawn at g2, hasn't he? I think. I'll just place here. Yeah, pawn at g2 is a bit more effective. Now. Good at getting the most out of these positions. Okay. But can I put no, I should probably take it. No, I'm getting good value. Taking a long time for these moves. Just trying to hold him at bay. Oh. Oh, that's a nice idea. Okay. Ship at C4. I've kind of got some threats. Ah, oh, that, that spoils it for me. Um, okay, but where's his threat? I got I got knight at E6 here. Got mate somewhere. It's close. He's running out of time. We both are. Um, oh, I don't know if this is enough. Ah, oh, I'm a pawn short. I got a draw. Really? That's all I got. I got a draw. Okay. That was a bit anticlimactic. But, uh, yeah, at least I got away without getting mated. Okay. Not fun games tonight. <laughs> GM draw. Yeah. Okay, I have space. Alright, he's giving me a pawn. This this doesn't feel free. He's gonna have to trick me somehow. Uh, I know Oppo isn't too well. He's very tricky. Uh, could play c6 before bishop d6. It's just a bit slow. Just 
develop sensibly. Yeah, I'm feeling like pawn to g5 is coming. Some kind of sack here, takes here. I'm putting the knight on c6. I want to put it on e5. I'm basically saying if, if white doesn't try to do something fancy, I'm just going to develop. So Mugwort says, why not queen takes f7 at the end? Yeah, I think queen takes f7 may be better than that. I, I was looking at queen takes f7, knight takes f7, pawn at c4, queen at c5. Uh, yeah. I feel like he's going to do it, but he's got to look out for queen takes g2. I, I don't think that works. Cause unfortunately, that's made... If he allows that... I don't mind if this knight gets to come back here. Now, now this is kind of hanging. I think white's making a commitment with pawn g5, so it's um, my responsibility with the black pieces here is to prove that pawn g5 is a bit of an overextension. Okay. I can play knight e5, or I can play knight f2. So he's hitting d5 as well. So I should probably go for this. Mm. That's That's actually quite a good move. Okay. We'll go knight f2, but d4 is my move. I don't want to allow knight d5. I, I can pick this one up later potentially, but if I go here, knight takes d5, he gets the open file, open diagonal. Yeah, I want to trade queens. So I've sacked my piece. Point e3, knight c2. There's bishop g5 here. It's like the piece for a pawn, but I think I've got some compensation in the position on the dark squares. I feel like this is an easier game to play for, for black than it is for white. Okay. Let's check. Always check. It might be mate. Should I play pawn at e3 first? Or am I just giving away material? I believe it's worthwhile. Whether he goes forwards or backwards. Just to claim that, that space. So he could he could just take take go back. Then I've got bishop takes g five. Like it's looking good. If the king yeah, okay. This looks hard for white. This could be made already. King can't come here. Queen at d4. If you go back, pawn at e3. Looks like mate here. Pawn at d2. King f1, queen f2. King g1, queen at e1. If here, bishop g5. So looks like game over. But he's found a way. So coming up. Does this really survive? All right, let's just get his king in the open. Uh, bring the knight to d6. Cut off the c4 escape square. That's critical. And even if I don't have mate, I should be able to capture a few things. But we'll try to find mate.
it's avoiding mate. Uh, I'll just make sure his king is wide open. This can't be too bad for black. Okay. He's going to make me earn it. Being a bit complacent here. If he takes this one, I got bishop f6 check. Knight at d5. No, knight 2 d5. Somehow, he looks okay. How, how did this happen? Um, oh boy. D7, maybe it's D7. Alright, let's not run out of time either. Okay. So if I can just keep my king safer than his, I should be getting home. we go. Okay, we'll play knight c3. There's a whole lot of theory here. I'm just going to play in a way that avoids it. A4. So this just prepares a square to preserve the bishop on. Knight d4 is good. So c6 is sensible here. Yeah. That kind of makes my a4 plan look like I just wasted a few moves. So I might want to do knight at d4 first. Now c6. Looks like it's logical. So... Bishop e3. I just feel like I've I've given away White's advantage here. I, I don't like this A4 idea anymore. I didn't I didn't do much with it. Uh, I was just gonna take this and play pawn here. You can take it with a knight. But okay. I like his setup better than mine. Pawn at f3 or something. At least I got something near his king. Okay, takes, 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 queen d7 check. That, that mates. Because of king g2, queen g4 check, knight g3, pawn at h3, king h1, pawn at g2. So d7 
this is nasty. But what if, what if, uh, wait, so it takes, takes, key here, takes, but then F3, then I can run this way. Alright, we'll go with that. I'm not concerned about knight h4 check because I can probably play king h2, knight f3, king g3. Yeah, so bishop h3 takes here. Again, this this is one of I guess one of my favorite situations where I'm pretty much a pawn up if black backs off and then I defend the rest of the game and grind. Or black basically has to commit and find something and then um, it, it's just defense against attack. Okay, so he's found something here. But can I just take it and bishop g4 check, okay. Okay. So he's he's getting my queen. This is this is a good move. Uh maybe I have to take it and then take it with the king so I don't lose my queen. Is knight at age six anything? Play rook g1 first. Maybe rook g1 first. So I'm thinking blocker takes knight h5 here. If bishop g5, pawn at f4. Takes, 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 takes. I don't like, I don't like it after bishop g5. I think black's better there. Because I thought I could play pawn at f4. Ah, or can I push f4? Takes, pawn it. Knight here. No, no, his knight's defending g7. Uh, I don't know if I should have just taken this without rook g1. I felt it was helpful. Oh, this one I didn't see. Okay. So if takes, check. But what if king h5? Uh, I gotta take it, right? Or can I run bishop d6? Nah, I gotta commit. King h5 is my move. Here, yeah, yeah. Knight f6. King h4. Or maybe king h6. Oh no, he's gonna lock me off, huh? Okay. So what about knight at h6? Am I getting mated? Probably. Takes, takes. Knight at f. No, bishop g5 will mate me. Okay, that's nice. So if I only got rook takes g4. Yeah, that's busted. It's all busted. Uh, that's just too good, isn't it? Because knight takes f2, and I feel like. Oh, not even that. It's got nicer. Yeah, I, I didn't see that. That's that's just too good. Queen d6. Very nice. Very nice. Oppo isn't very strong there. Okay. 45. I'm going to call last two games, guys, because it's getting late. It's 1.37 a.m. It's going to be a good variety of opponents tonight. So Oppo wasn't like, show some flair with e4. Let's see. Uh, C3 or B4, he's got he's got some uh, good opening ideas. Okay, he's going for the B4. So we've taken this before. 
I'm gonna go with knight takes e4. Might take f7, we'll see. But I think I think responding by just giving up this bishop is is not so bad. Uh, two pawns for the piece, and um, yeah, you, if you get d5 in, you, know, you get some decent development. All right, last two games. Let's make them good. Uh, I need to conserve time. Two and a half each. Oh, okay. Wow. D3. Okay. Can I play with bishop takes C3? Looks... Hmm. Got queen b3 check as well. So we gotta... I think knight c3 is okay. Knight g5. What should I take with a bishop? I, th I think this is better. Then I don't develop his knight. Because if he takes, I'm happy with a knight on c3. This way I get the rook, and now his knight's on b1. So he'll still get check. I go here, pawn here, here, knight at e6 check is pretty devastating. So, do I have to go to e7? Every move counts here. Yeah, go to e7. Oh, it's so sharp. Like this tricks like, like I'm looking at something like pawn f6, knight at f5 here, knight e6 check takes, 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 queen at g7 here, king queen e7 mate. So if you go like pawn at f6, you gotta take this one, knight at f5, you gotta move back here, but then there's queen h5, pawn here, takes, takes. Pawn here, here, bishop a3, if you block with the pawn, takes, takes, pawn at g7, mate. So you'd have to block with a rook. And then he could take the rook. And then takes, check, takes, takes. Queen at f7, like this, that attack continues, king d8, takes. And like pawn at f6, I'm not sure. Pawn on f6, if I take here, knight at d5. But that, that looks really ugly. Yeah, I like pawn at f6 first. Here, I feel I can go back to f8 now, because of check. No, I can't, because e7 is still covered. So if I go back here, then I lose pawn. Alright. I'm gonna run up then. I, I can't run back because of knight e6. I can't go here because of knight g7. Crazy, eh? Okay, so if queen h5, bishop and g6 just to cover h7 as well. Takes, takes, queen g5 here. Takes, takes, queen d7 is a problem. Ooh, queen h5, what do we do about that? Oh, he's thinking over time. Um, he's going to g4. So the idea is similar. Uh, but he's got... Thinking of pawn at f4 here, maybe. I just, I just need to cut this bishop off. That's most important. 
When I say I just need to, I, I mean I'm not saying that this is winning all of a sudden. But if I don't do that, then I'm definitely lost. Holy moly, 96. Okay, so he's... If I take, he's got here. Takes, takes, pawn f7 mates. He's looking for queen g7. Maybe I have to play queen g8. Gosh, this is ugly. Uh... Oh, he's low on time. That's that's tough to play. Okay, knight takes e seven. So he's got his material. <laughs> Do here. Such an awkward position. Um, okay, I feel like hitting the queen can't be too bad. Yeah, you ran out of time. Ah, oh, got my uh, got my defense tested there. All right, Drawmaster twenty seventeen says, uh, please try regular chess also someday. It would not surprise me. If you would become a titled player with your deep calculation talent. Well, I I think my chess days are over. I um I probably more reversed from chess into this. I'd say um what what little talent I had in chess I at least preserved and um got to at least convert into crazy house. I think it's the other way around. I, I just like the tactics and um, you know, no theory, pure clash of talent. That's that's what I'm after. And to keep up with chess, there, there's so much study. Okay, f4. So he's got this knight b4 stuff he might throw at me. No. Always good ideas he has. Um, yeah, if not f3, then knight b4. Well, so be it. I've got to do something. Knight b4. Then I can take this one. Takes. No, can't do this way. I don't want to allow pawn at g4. So Knight f4. Uh, I feel like knight takes e6 is called for. Can I make something work with d5? Alright, instinct. An old saying of mine was, um, attack by instinct, defend by calculation. And, um, yeah, you should probably calculate both, but sometimes it's easier just to attack without thinking about everything. So here, I want to do pawn at f7 first maybe, because bishop f5 would be a better check. He's got king e7, so what if I just do it that way? How is he covering his light squares after that? I think that's that's good. Um, Draw Master 2017. How far do you think you would get in regular chess just on talent without study? I am or not even 2100. Um, I got to about 2250 Elo when I was aged around 14. And then um, that's about the time I learned Bug House and Crazy House. Um, yeah, so 22.50, that's been my peak. And then uh, yeah, I just I just um, didn't find it as as entertaining as I used to.
Oppo Wesson reckons if uh, if I tried more in chess, he reckons I'd make IM at least. But uh, I don't know. If if King D7 here, I had Knight at B6, which is very strong. So that's why he's gone to E7. But then um, there's probably still something here. What is it? Is it like Knight takes E5? Does that somehow work in a sick way? Mm. Not quite. Not quite what I want. Um. Or can I just yeah, knight at g8, maybe knight takes e5. If he takes, then takes here. If he doesn't take, I get rid of this. So that that can't be bad. That's my way forward. That makes good sense. So I get to keep hitting him with check and tempo without losing my queen. And bishop at e8 is very threatening. So I have a safe king, material is balanced enough. I don't yet see the win, but I feel like white's better. Knight at c7 maybe, it's good to defend the light squares. Bishop at e8, yeah, like, the game's not over yet. But then the problem is with his king on e6, I can take here, and then knight at f4 is probably devastating. So, bishop here, king here. Maybe just pawn at e4. I mean, there could be a kill shot with a queen sack. close I think just pawn at e4 is sensible it's pretty hard to stop or is he, he might be considering taking this Oh, and I gotta be careful of getting mated myself with knight at e2. Knight d3. Yeah, uh, okay. I didn't see that earlier. I'm seeing something where I can chase his king, but he gets king takes d1. So it doesn't quite work. Pawn at e4, knight e2, king here, knight d3, and he picks up my queen. Yeah, I'm going to trust I have enough to defend. Because even if he gets this, then I get pawn at d5. The main thing is, like, these three squares are covered. So his king can't go back. Can't go to h1 because of knight at g3 check. Knight d3, but it blocks off the defense of this knight. So I'm, I'm just barely hanging in there. Have I missed something with queen h4? Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This I've missed. Holy moly. Okay, I could be mated here. Uh, I'm either mated or just surviving. Go this way. Yeah. Okay. Knight d4, yeah, king f2, bishop e3. He's <laughs> inspired by Shawana and myself. I'll, I'll just have, um, I'll just have, uh, 
quick look. Um, pull up the analysis board. Turn off the engine. I think someone else is using it. Oh, at D5. What? Is made in 7 for black? What? That doesn't make sense. Um, no, I was going to go back here. Uh, I saw a line with pawn at D5, but then... The idea was check here to cover this square. And then I saw pawn here, pawn here, takes rook at four. And then unfortunately the king got away out on D1 or D2. I just didn't have enough to finish. So that's what I was talking about when I said king takes D1. But okay, let's let's see if I, I did miss mate. I didn't see mate, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, pawn at d5. There's still a game here. But pawn at d4, and I'm, I'm meant to be worse. Knight g4 check. Anyway, I'm not gonna go through this. It's it's all very sharp. Uh, still still plenty to learn in Crazy House for everyone. Um, based on what you can see Stockfish exposing, um, you know, play, players at the top of uh, the ladder at the moment um, can still be up a piece or something and, and lose. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much that's unexplored, so yeah, the game's got plenty of life. Uh, that's, that's why I play the game. I think it's fantastic. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let, let's wrap up there um another two hour stream that's good um thanks everyone for joining look uh i've really i've really enjoyed uh tonight's games um i'll post this up on on youtube uh, i haven't posted last night's stream on youtube yet i will have to do that as well um so wherever you are hope you're having a good thursday probably yeah for everyone it's thursday just turn over to friday here um Take care. I'm going to sleep. I'll see you next time.